And now, it's time for another Dice Tower review. Hey everybody, so Colt Express was the 2015 Spiel des Jahres winner. A great game, amazing game. It's already had one expansion, and now, today, I'm going to be looking at the second expansion, Marshall and Prisoners. This expansion adds the Marshall, which is a new character that someone else gets to play against all of the bandits. So. Let's take a look. So in Colt Express Marshals and Prisoners, you get two different expansions. One expansion is a new character. That's May. May is the yellow character. Her ability is that when she goes up and down, she could also transfer one car in a diagonal direction, as you can see here. So May is a nice new character addition. Also for the characters, there's a few things that you do when you play with the sheriff. One thing is there's these what they call brilliant idea cards. The brilliant ideas come into play instead of your normal sheriff card. So you're not going to play with your sheriff card and, and instead you're going to take that out and you're going to put in these brilliant idea cards, which I will get to in a little bit. You also get, for each of your characters, you get a wanted card. And the wanted card is used for the sheriff because the sheriff has two different things that the sheriff needs. One thing is the sheriff will take all of the characters that are in the game and have these capture cards. Only some of them will be in there, so not, he doesn't have to capture every character, but the sheriff wants to capture characters. So let's say we're playing with May, Django, and Ghost, and Tuco. We'll shuffle these, one of them will go out, the other three will be in there, or the other two, depending on how many players you play with. And the sheriff has goals. Some of these goals are to capture characters and then you get their wanted signs. Other goals that the sheriff has are some things like this. As you can see here, you need a money bag at the end of the game. Money bag is a new item that is like the briefcases and everything else. They're worth either 1200 or 200 and the money bags are used in the game that the robbers can take them. But if they don't, if the sheriff has this bonus one, he would get it here if the sheriff hasn't been punched twice, here if the sheriff hasn't been shot twice by the same person. So the sheriff has a whole bunch of different things that he needs to do. The sheriff basically has these goals. Some of the goals are the special ones, some of the goals are to capture the players. When the sheriff does these goals, he basically takes his goals, we shuffle them together, they go up here. As the game goes along, the sheriff has to decide each turn, each turn of the rail, as the rail moves, one of the goals comes over here. The sheriff now can look at it secretly, so the sheriff knows what his goals are, but the other players don't know what their goals are, what his goals are. So you're trying to compete and stop him because if the, if the marshal compete, completes four of the five goals, he wins the game. If the marshal doesn't, then the bandit with the most money in their hand wins the game like the old version of the game. So that is what the sheriff needs to do. As you can see, there's little punch cards here. So if they get punched, as I was saying, the sheriff would get punched. There's a bunch of items that come with it. As in addition, the sheriff has new cards or the sheriff will play cards now. Before the sheriff didn't play cards, before the sheriff was controlled by the sheriff card, which now comes out and the sheriff has their own powers. The sheriff has a lot of guns, also is holding two guns in their hand. The sheriff has these prisoner lockup symbols. That's the one that looks like a little handcuff. When you capture someone, not only do you get their wanted poster, but you put them in a new item in the game. This is the um, caboose. You put them in jail in the caboose, and now you capture someone. This is obviously the the marshal, but let's just say it's a bandit and you put them in there. That's where the brilliant idea for the bandit comes in. So if the bandit uses one of their brilliant ideas, the one with the light bulb, they have a few choices with it. One is they can escape from the prison and move to either the lower level or the upper level of the caboose. Or if they're not in the prison, but they're in the caboose, 
they can get what are called the prisoners right here. And the prisoners, as you can see, there is prisoners for every character in the game. They get shuffled randomly. If you get the prisoner of your own character, when you take money, you see money times two. If you take someone else's prisoner, then you get their power. So if I took this prisoner, I would also get the power of people don't punch me till last. Or if I took this prisoner, I would also get ghost power where the first card you could play face down even if you're not in a tunnel. So you could either take someone else's power to get two powers when you take a prisoner or you can take your own prisoner and then get double picking up money which will give you a lot of money towards the winning condition. In addition, there's a third thing that the light bulbs can do, and that is if you are not in the back car and you're anywhere else, the light bulb acts like a wild and you get to copy the last action of the last player who went. So you're basically copying an action. So no matter when you play a light bulb, it will come in some use in some way. For the marshal, in addition to the, to the handcuff where he puts people in the back, he also has these new plus cards. So the marshal, when he plays a plus card face up, so people see the face up plus card, he could play a second card right after that. So the marshal's doing multiple actions at the same time that the bandits are doing one action for each turn of the game. That gives the marshal a lot of power. It also makes the marshal very deadly when you're going around because they can move and then shoot and do other things like that, assuming that they have the right cards in their hand. The marshal's guns are a little different than everyone else's guns. They act the same way as they used to, but now instead of the neutral guns, you have the marshal has their own six shooter and the marshal gets to decide if it wants to, who it wants to shoot. And also, as you see, there are special penalties. So in this case, in the first bullet, if you shoot someone, then they can't fire for the rest of the whole turn. In this case, they can't go up and down for the whole turn. In this case, they can't punch for the whole turn. And then in this case, you're getting hats, which are towards your hat goal, if you actually have the hat goal. So there's a reason why the sheriff wants to, Marshall wants to shoot all of his guns because he's affecting the other players and giving himself a better chance to win. Those are the two main pieces to Colt Express, Marshals and Prisoners. Well, as you see, there's a lot of things going on in this in this little expansion. There's some things I really like. I really like the new character because you have new powers, and new powers is always fun to play with in this kind of game. I also like the prisoners. I like the fact that you can go in the back, you can now get a secondary power for your character, so you could have two different powers, or you could boost your power and be able to steal more money. I really like that. Now, on the other hand, the marshal. I don't like the marshal. I never like games where everyone plays against one person especially when part of the game is the fact that the one person could win or everyone else wins, but not really everyone else wins. The fact that only one of everyone else wins. So if I'm a bandit, why am I going to work extra hard to stop the marshal when I still need to make the most money to win the game? And it gives that whole dilemma of, yes, we're working together, but we're also fighting for ourselves. How much times do you shoot the marshal versus how many times do you shoot another player? Every game I've played of this so far, the marshal has won because the players don't want to fight each other enough, or fight each other too much, rather, to not attack the marshal enough. So for me, I don't like the marshal. But I do like the new character. I do like that there's a few great things going on. I like the prisoners. I like the second powers. I just don't like someone controlling the marshal. I hope that even though there's no variant in here for it, I would hope that someone will come up with a house variant where you can still use the prisoners and everything else from this box, the new character, but not have to have someone play the marshal and you can still use those original marshal cards from the original game. So that's kind of how I feel about the game. The, the components are the same. You get, you, get another, you get another pawn, you get another horse, you get everything. This game is good. There's some good things, but there's also some not so good things. And for me, I would give it an awesomeness rating of five. So there you go. Colt Express, Marshall and Prisoners. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower.
The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.